I got involved with AME Model Office project because I was trying to get necessary components to put in place for patient-centered medical home. AMA has research projects. The American Medical Association is very interested in helping physicians who want to embrace technology to move towards electronic medical records. And one of the ways we're doing that is through the Imagine Portal and having uh, partnerships with organizations like Care Tracker to showcase their application and its availability through the portal itself. The AMA has a big name behind, I figure it's pretty good and trust, trustworthy, so I went along with it. I say, okay, let's do this. The ideal outcome through the uh, EMR project was to provide real good care for my patients and convert the whole system to EMR. When we first heard we were going to switch over to Care Tracker, it was going to be a big process. Doing this for 19 years, I've always done it, you know, with the paper itself, the paper charts. We were using a paper chart, T-chart system. We realized how many charts we were pulling every day. Before there would be all three of us looking for charts, pulled away from what we needed to actually do for the day. You got only so many hours a day, so that cuts into the patient care hours. The Ingenix consultants and staffs helped us to go through this process. The idea of having this um, standardized set of data that can be shared with the patient and shared during referrals and with other colleagues, with professional colleagues, is obviously one of the big benefits of having an electronic medical record. They provided the AMA portal. Once they log into the portal, they don't have to re-log on to Care Tracker. And then they have access to many other applications that the AMA offers through their portal. We've had web seminars, we've had phone conferences, lots of different training. And if we ever have any issues per se, we can always email them or give them a direct call. It was very well organized. That really helped that there were game plans set out right from the beginning. Overall, it worked out really well. The staff and the providers have adopted the new systems and the new workflows and adapted to them quickly. We have used the care track of practice management about six months and for the EMR about three months. To see the entire team come together for this goal, you know, has been really cool. Be prepared to work hard. It's just been an eye-opening experience that these people are willing to bend over backwards for the doctors that they work for. We need to put in the time now, but we'll get the benefits, you know, down the road. They do just about anything it takes you know, for the office to be successful. Since the care tracker has been implemented in our office, I can see the future coming. Care tracker has a big volume of insurance companies that can do things electronically. So a lot more of our insurance companies are getting back to us a lot sooner than they were with our old system. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act requires the usage of EMR 80% of the time to give us funding and use it actually for patient care purposes. Scheduling, seeing patients and planning and follow-up. I do believe I am there already because I'm using it from beginning to end. Technology has helped me save lots of time on a day-to-day -day basis. Now that we are more on the downside of the transition. It is nice not having to go hunt for charts or results. Since we have a computer every room, everywhere, I can just open up and look at all the information. It's just easier to find anything that we need. We can make appointments from any room, anyway, any computer. I can even make an appointment with the patients right after I see them in the room. The job descriptions for the staff has changed a lot too. I'm more available to the doctors when they need tests or injections or anything else that needs to be done. I can use their time to do more for patient care. That's my goal, to provide better care for my patients. Not only their medical problems, but also their emotional, mental, and family problems. That is my passion.